Hi, everybody. We are happy to welcome you and share with you some information about music therapy at Augsburg University. So let's just dig in and get started. Um, we want to start by introducing ourselves to you. I am Annie Heiderscheid. I'm the director of music therapy at Augsburg University, overseeing both the undergraduate and masters of music therapy program. And I am going to toss it to my colleague, Dr. Lee, so she can introduce herself. Hello guys, my name is Ju Yang Li and I'm assistant professor of music therapy at Augsburg. I teach both undergraduate and graduate students. I'm Emma Munir and I am the practicum coordinator and I also do a lot of advising of the undergraduate students. Thank you both. So one of the things that I think it's, it's helpful to know about us as the full-time faculty at Augsburg is that we have over 50 years of combined clinical experience between us. And because music therapy is a clinical practice degree, that's important because we are teaching you how to be therapists. And given we have so much clinical experience, we are able to bring that into our teaching and impart that to you as students. Um, as in addition to all of our clinical experience, we serve on committees at our national, regional, and international um, organizations, music therapy organizations throughout the region, throughout the country, and throughout the world as well. So we are, we are always excited to meet with students and to introduce them to our colleagues all around the country and all around the globe to understand music therapy, not only from a national, but a global um, understanding as a global profession as well. Sure. So um, I'm going to explain what you're going to learn when you decide to study music therapy. So you will be learning some courses in music, courses in social and physical sciences, and also courses in music therapy. Um, so when you come, when you learn music therapy courses, you will have introduction to music therapy. You'll be building up some functional music skills, but also learning some clinical music skills. And then you will go to um, practicum sites and we'll give you um, supervision. And then you will also have internship before applying for a test to be a music therapist. Yes, all of this coursework prepares students not only for internship, but for that board certification exam, which then allows them to practice as a music therapist. We can, you can do some role playing, so you become a therapist and also a client. Um, so you will be understanding how it feels like to be a therapist, but also as clients. Um, you will be doing lots of experiential learnings, so you'll be playing music and making new music with your peers. And here are some group improvisation videos. So this is one of our um, yeah, group improvisation experiential learnings. So students will be creating and then analyze the music and then understanding the impact of group improvisation on the clients. And I, what I love about the photos is you can see all the different instruments that we get to use in the classroom and with all the music therapy classes as well. So, you know, one of the things that we like to help people understand is what is unique about music therapy at Augsburg. So um, there are very unique aspects to our curriculum at Augsburg. Because music therapists are working in almost 50 different clinical populations around this country, um, our curriculum is based in teaching students the music therapy methods and how we apply those methods. And we have to think about how we adapt it and think critically through that process so that we can take a method and adapt it across populations. This is different from many programs in the country because many other programs are teaching based on populations. And so they might have courses like music therapy for children, music therapy for adults or older adults or music therapy in a medical setting. And given we are working with almost 50 different client populations across this country, we can't possibly teach you music therapy for every population. 
But what we can do is we can teach you the methods and how to adapt those methods so that you are developing the critical thinking skills and the creativity to be able to use those methods across populations. That further prepares you for populations that might be still emerging in music therapy practice so that you've got the skills developed to utilize in new populations where music therapy isn't being used yet, but it's preparing you for future practice as well. We have a very active music therapy student club. So there's opportunities to engage with your fellow students in doing different things, preparing to go to conferences, having some guest speakers come in and learning all kinds of things and doing different things as a part of that club. You have very individualized advising with music therapy faculty. So we are supporting you throughout the process um, of your coursework, not only the academic coursework, but practicum and internship as well. We also have um, some short-term study abroad experiences within the music therapy program, and this is very unique in music therapy. Um, we have a course that goes to, we'll talk a little bit more about it later, to China, um, and we've got a course that's going to South Africa as well. Our students also have the opportunity to collaborate with faculty on conducting research, and they can get paid to do that. So that's great experience on building a resume, getting experience, and really working side by side with faculty. Because we are in a metro area, we have access to over 60 practicum sites. And then as a part of practicum, we have faculty-led group supervision that happens each week, really giving students a strong support and practicum um, that they do in the community, but also having that support from faculty on campus as well. So now we're going to hear more about practicum experiences. So what we're referring to when we talk about practicum is the clinical field work that you get to do as a music therapy student and that the American Music Therapy Association requires of all music therapy students in the United States. So what this means is that you will be working with a board certified music therapist in the community and shadowing that person and using that space to practice your own clinical skills. You take four semesters of the clinical practicum classes and within that four semesters you're required to work with at least three separate clinical populations. You're always placed with a board certified music therapist within the community. So you'll be working with someone who has their own body of clinical information, which might be different than what you'll be learning about within the courses, the experience that your full-time professors have, those kinds of things. So I think it really broadens student experiences. Um, you'll get supervision from the person on site who is your clinical supervisor and from an academic supervisor who is either Dr. Lee or myself. Um, and we will base all of the goals within these experiences on the American Music Therapy Association professional competencies. So these are the, the competencies that all music therapists within the United States are expected to be able to master. In order to start these classes, you have to have passed your piano, guitar, and voice proficiency exams. And that allows you to really step into the clinical work with some of those musical skills really ready to go. So some of our um, clinical experiences are really unique within Augsburg, partially because we're in a community and a metro area that includes a lot of music therapists who are working in a wide variety of types of settings. We partner with 64 local clinical sites, which means we have sites within school systems, within hospital systems, within long-term care, within uh, mental and chemical health programming, within community care situations. So there are lots of opportunities for you to shadow and be part of clinical work within the Twin Cities area. We also have some faculty-led 
practicum experiences at four local clinical sites. We have these happening for particular periods of time when we're trying to um, when we're trying to build clinical experiences specifically for a particular group of students. So in the past, we've worked at Gilda's Club of the Twin Cities, which is an organization that provides um, psychosocial care for families who are um, affected by cancer. We've worked at Baby Space at Little Earth of United Tribes, which is a local um, housing development and community that works with Native American tribes within the Twin Cities area, particularly of the Lakota communities. Um, and we worked within the early childhood development program at Little Earth. We've worked within the Pride Institute, which provides um, chemical dependency programming for GLBTQ plus people. And we've also worked with Minnesota Young People and Al Alcoholics Anonymous, where we've done lots of clinical work to assist with chemical health. So one of the things that we strive to do with students in the program is to engage them in the community. And we do a lot of that in music therapies. You just heard about practicum. Our students are in the community consistently with practicum. But we also seek out other opportunities. And um, one of those opportunities was um, that we collaborated with the University of Minnesota Masonic Children's Hospital and the students in the senior seminar course wrote and recorded original music that was focused on relaxation and lullabies that patients and families at the hospital could use. So we created the music. We, you can see from the photos, we went to a recording studio recorded that music. That music was uploaded onto their platform at the hospital called the Get Well Network. And patients and families can access the music from their patient rooms at the hospital for any time they want or need to use that. Um, so this was a great way for us to utilize the skills that we have as music therapy students and give to the community and share those skills in this special and unique way. It was a great, oppor great learning opportunity for students and for them to explore how do we use our skills in maybe different ways than we have before and how can we be a resource in the community. So I mentioned earlier that we have some short-term study abroad opportunities, not only for our undergrad students, but for our graduate music therapy students. And um, these opportunities, we actually open them up to students around the country. And we often have students from across the United States participate in these courses as well. One of the courses um, goes to China each summer, and we spend time in Beijing and Chongqing. The photos that you see here are from the pediatric burn camp that we participate in at, um, in Chongqing, China. And we collaborate with a music therapist from China to provide music therapy services during the burn camp. We also have a study abroad course that goes to South Africa. And during that course, we not only have cultural experiences that allow us to experience the country, but we have opportunities to, co to collaborate with our music therapist in country as well. So these are really unique opportunities that we have and they're great ways to engage in these cultural experiences that help us develop not only our cultural competence, but our cultural humility and um, provide opportunities for us to collaborate with our colleagues internationally. So if you are interested in more information about our music therapy programs at Augsburg, you can feel free to contact me. My email is included here. You can contact our admissions department as well. We are happy to tell you more about music therapy. Thank you for your time, and we hope to see you at Augsburg. <laughs>